What's up everyone? Welcome to Andy Prep YouTube channel. I'm Andy, owner of Andy Prep in Seoul, Korea. I enjoy giving advice on US college admissions, SATs, and other related things. Remember that everything I say here is based on my education and experience over nearly 20 years of helping students achieve success. If you find these videos helpful, don't hesitate to click that like button and subscribe for more Andy Prep content. And be sure to hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any new videos that we put out. Also, I have decided to start recording these videos in English to make them more accessible to a wider audience. Korean subtitles are available as well. Before I start recording today's video, I have to tell you, I am so, so tired today. You know, like this past week, I've been having a lot of meetings, student meeting, parent meeting, student and parent meeting. I've been busy. I usually am not that busy in January season. What I do here, the job we're dealing with here, we're not that busy in January, but for some reason, this month been really extremely crazy busy. Last night, I had a student meeting at home. The student, you know, said something and that, that made me think. And I couldn't fall asleep until 3 a.m. in the morning. I, I was researching. I was I was basically Googling all night. Went to bed at 3, 3.30. I woke up at 8. I was supposed to go for a run. I didn't. I got lazy. I came to work this morning and I got this headache right here. My forehead is like, a, it feels like it's going to crack. Oh, man. But let's do this. But it is what it is. We got to do what we have to do for the day. Let's do this. College costs can be difficult to estimate. CNBC make it set out to capture the information students would need to balance the cost of college and earning after graduation. Today, I will show you the list of the U.S. colleges that pay off the most. CNBC Make It ranked 50 schools that provide students the highest average salaries for their tuition dollars. But I will just focus on top 10 private colleges and top 10 public universities today. Ready? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. cool. Let me open up your resume here. So those okay. kids who signed up for that sort of a program here um, will be assigned mm -hmm. with... Uh, gotcha. Are, is the, is mostly all the teachers uh, remote, like in terms of is everyone using Skype or... Do you... uh, we're, okay. we're, we specialize in American U.S. college entrance education. Right. So it was great talking to you. We'll stay in touch. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Before I jump into explaining the actual rankings, allow me to explain the methodology behind how CNBC make it calculate the numbers to come up with their rankings. They first use Tuition Tracker, a tool created by education-focused nonprofit news organization called the Hatchinger, right? Hatchinger Report to look at the net cost. Then they divided the net cost by graduates expected annual earnings, which was calculated based on the median salary of graduates from pay scales college salary report. So basically, CNBC make it did not do all the research on their own, but rather, <coughs> oh God. That's just coffee. But rather, they used other institutions' data to put together the rankings of their own. Does that make sense? In the ranking I'm about to show to you, you will see the following three items. Average net cost for students from families making between 48 grand and 75 grand. An income range established by the Department of Education. Second, median salary for alumni with zero to five years of experience. Third, median salary for alumni with 10 plus years of experience. All right then, let's look at the ranking now. What the heck is going on? Let's go, let's go find out. You guys are eating without me? You were gone. 
like, you came look for me at least. Right? I mean, Your car did. was gone. Yeah. Oh, we were having a fun time right now. We can join. <laughs> First up is the top 10 private colleges that pay off the most. Private colleges. Here, Stanford is ranked number one with the average new cost of about US dollars $4,000 and with the median salary of US dollars worth of $76,500 for zero to five years. First five years. And after 10 plus years, people from Stanford make on average about 143 grand. You can understand what the chart is saying, right? There is Stanford, Princeton, U of Chicago, Caltech, Harvard, Yale, Columbia, MIT, Pomona, and Duke. What the heck happened to my alma mater, Cornell? They're not in the top 10. Come on, Cornell, you could do better than that. This sort of explains again why American people after college graduation, after they graduate from college, donate big chunk of money back to their whatever the school they're from. But international students, me, myself here, didn't give any money, not a single penny, back to the school I graduated from. Not because I'm cheap. I, I guess I'm making myself sound cheap. But anyways, the point is, we pay so much money for tuition, for four years college, whatever. And then, you know, after college, you know, we make this amount, for example, that's fair enough. But that still, it doesn't compensate. It doesn't cancel out for like how many years? Five years, 10 years? And then versus American students, I look, looking at this chart, I'm thinking that, okay, they only have to pay 4,000 on average, about $4,000 a year. After graduation, they make this much money and then they're probably thankful, right? Because that's what they got from college. The college gave them so much background knowledge experience and then after college, they went off and making that much money. You know, if, you, if you're a kind human being, why not give a small chunk of money back to the school you're from? That makes sense. So I guess international students, we're coming from a different perspective, different background. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. I hope this makes sense a little bit. I, it's okay if you don't disagree or agree with me. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Now, let's look at the top 10 public universities that pay off the most. Here, University of Washington, Seattle is ranked number one with the average new, average net cost of about nine grand and with a median salary of 60 grand for zero to five years. And after 10 plus years, people from University of Washington, Seattle make on average about 112 Grand. Let me blow up the chart a little bigger so that you could pause and look at the entire chart here. That is all for the day. Thank you for watching the video until the end. Once again, if you find these videos helpful, don't hesitate to click that like button and subscribe for more Andy Prep content. You can also share this video with your friends and family. It does not cost you any money to do so. Finally, I try to read and respond to every comment. So if you have any questions about anything on any of my videos, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I will respond to it as soon as I can. Okay. I will see you next time. Be smooth. Have a great day.